you can just picture it. It's a hot afternoon, and you see a little toddler. His cheeks are pink and flush, and his, his hair is stuck to his face. And, well, he just isn't having a good day. He's out of sorts and fretful, and his day hasn't gone well. Well, it's kind of the same for his mom, too. They both seem to be a little tired and, well, just a bit cranky. The boy couldn't seem to make his mom happy, and nothing that mother tried seemed to ease her son's frustrations. And then, in a moment, the mother observed her little boy heading toddling over to her purse. He takes out the cell phone, puts it to his flushed little face, and speaking to no one in particular, says, Daddy, please! And the tone of his voice says it all. The two-year-old boy wanted his daddy to rescue him from frustrations. All the hurts, all the trouble, all the brokenness he was feeling in his young life. He needed someone else besides his mother to turn to. He needed someone to bring some needed change into his life. He needed someone to care for his feelings, his hurts, his inability to handle the challenges of life. And so he cried, Daddy, please! With all that's been happening, wouldn't you like to be able to say something like that? Daddy, please! We've all had a time in our lives when we've experienced that same sort of feeling. Haven't we all wanted the comfort of someone who understands our frustration, who knows our pain, who can help us fix the hurt, someone who will be with us as we try to cope? We are a people in need. Like the crowd, the people were chasing after Jesus trusting that all they needed was to touch the fringe of his cloak. And so we picture this. We have Jesus caring for those people in need. Jesus and his followers cannot evade this crowd. They follow Jesus wherever he goes. It seems like they're actually tracking him down. And it also appears from Mark's description that the people are running on foot faster than the boats can move. And so the people are pressing in on Jesus and they know he is the answer to their need. And they know that even touching that hem will bring them healing and relief. Today, Jesus is still the answer to our need. When we are hurting, when we are tired, frustrated, when we can't cope, when we don't know where to turn, when we need help and it seems that no one is there, we are not alone. As he went ashore, he saw a great throng, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. They saw Jesus, the people saw Jesus, and they ran to him with all of their frustrations, the hurts, the troubles in their lives. They ran to Jesus in a sense and said as the boy in our story, Daddy, please. Jesus saw the throngs of people and though he was tired, he had compassion on them. 
He saw that they needed a shepherd, someone, someone to show them the way. The people were looking for help. The people were looking for healing. The people were looking for wholeness. Just as then Jesus has compassion for us. Jesus knows our suffering today. Jesus knows our pain. And Jesus wants to make us whole. And still today, Jesus shows us the way. Jesus can meet us at our need. Jesus can give us the strength to hope. Jesus can meet our frustration. Jesus can meet us in our fears. Jesus can bring us to wholeness. It is the grace and the love of God freely given through the life, death, and resurrection of Christ Jesus. This is the good news. Jesus can and has already met our every need. You know, my heart aches for the people that mourn today. For those that are standing over a hospital bed and cling to every bit of hope and praying for the one that they love so that they will be okay. But my heart is also waiting for a family, the family of the young man, James Holmes, the shooter in that movie theater. As people of faith, we are called to share the truth that the love of God is ours. The love of God is for all people. Jesus has all we need. Jesus is our hiding place. And Jesus can lift us up, renew us. Jesus has already taken away all of the hurt. Jesus has already borne our frustration. Jesus will never leave us or forsake us. We will never be alone. Come away to a, desert, to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. That is Jesus calling each of us. Jesus is our resting place. Come, rest in Christ Jesus. Amen.